What's up everybody and thank you for joining me for another video. We are jumping back into the dungeon revamp. We're headed to Kale's Stronghold. Now Kale's Stronghold has the entrance for the War Makers dungeon and that's the dungeon that we're going to be looking at in today's video. Now, before I get too far into the video, I know a lot of you in the comments are going to say, Whack, why are you using these daggers? And, well, because they happen to have a special surprise for the undead. See, these daggers will actually apply bleed to the undead, and that is why I'm using these daggers. I am fully specced out into an agility, so I don't want to be using any strength weapons unless I have to. We're going to go through and do some looting here. There's some good stuff in some of these chests, and I want to see what kind of loot we're going to get out of all of this. So, I am running an elixir of numbing, and I'm eating my lasting feasts so that I can get the additional carry weight. And as you can see, these daggers are doing just fine, adding bleed to these enemies. Gotta love these daggers. Now, if you're interested in the build that I'm running, I will have a video very soon showing you guys my brand new build. Yes, you can see the outfit has changed, and that means that I'm running new and different setups. So I've got new attribute points, a new set of armor that I'm using, and I'm using a couple of new weapons. You'll notice they're actually legendary, and I'll explain why I'm using legendary in that video. So stay tuned to the channel so you can see all the updates. All right, let's go back over, help our thrall out here. She's taking a bit of a beating from this guy, so we'll get in and do some damage, start some bleed. And he's just, his health is gone now. Say goodbye to your health, bud. I'm also running a katana. No reason special for running the katana. I just love having a katana on me. I like the weapon movements with that particular weapon. So, it's a good, good thing. Because I like it. All right. We are going to head off to the left here, the first door, the green door, and there is new and exciting stuff happening behind this door. As you can see, there's actually a boss in the middle. So let's see if we can use our bow and bring some of them. No, it looks like we're going to get all of them. Okay. Start in on this guy, get some heavy bleed on him. And then this is what I really like about the katana. Being able to move a long distance and do damage to just an absolute ton of enemies. Just like that. We are spreading the damage around to everybody. Everybody gets a bit of damage and we'll kill both those guys in one swipe. So even though it's not necessarily the best weapon to take on undead... It is a really good weapon for its own reasons. We're going to go underneath all of your combo there, bud. Most of the three skull bosses are going to rock out full combos. So keep that in mind. What's in your inventory? Oh, I, I should, I guess, continue fighting. Let's go ahead and kill this archer that keeps on poking me in the back there. You're half dead there, bud. It's good to see and thralls over there okay she's back she's back we're, we're in good good place here watch that full combo you go there buddy i'm over here behind you but you did a a really nice full combo at the air like it i like it and there we go all right what did we get off of him the quake we'll take that and that as well and then let's look at the rest of this inventory stuff there is good stuff in here. There is good, good stuff in here. Nothing that I'm going to pick up during the video necessarily. I want to reserve that for the legendaries that we're going to get and the other items. Oh, I'm headed the wrong way. Legendaries and chest items I'll, I'll be more apt to pick up. But there's a lot of really good loot going on in this dungeon. Okay. Okay. First guy we have to defeat here. 
Yeah, by a mortal. Yeah, I'm mortal. At least, that's what you think. I'm not sure, chat. Is Phoenix mortal or is she immortal? She keeps on coming back. Even after my whack moments, she's here yet again. We'll take, we'll take that. Why not? We need, we need the gold powder, dust, whatever. Gold dust powder. These guys don't appear to be comboing any better than they did before. All right, what do you got for us? Mordlin, good. And the statue, we'll need that for the key. Thank you very much. We are going to take all of that. And we'll take all of that. So, good little boost to our loot value. I like it. Okay, and on to the next door. Wherever it is. Oh, wait. We got to go out one more door. Here I thought we were in the other room. Okay, we'll go out to the other door. There we go. The pink, purple, red, whatever color door this is, we're going to head in this one. And this one you'll find to be pretty much the same as what you're used to. Just a bunch of skeletons littered around in here. What do we have there? Ooh, some gray lotus seeds. Quite a few of them as well. That's nice to see. Look at you guys are comboing well. That's good. Some bricks. Ooh, some gold. Take that. Let's see what's over here. Ooh, star metal. We'll take that. I'm going to take those steel reinforcements too. The rest of that stuff I'm going to leave in there. Although, having those weapon handles is really nice. So, definitely recommend grabbing those out of there. And black lotus flowers. Okay. What do we have in here? Hardened steel. Look at that. Leather. And ebony silk if you're going after that one recipe, that one set of armor that uses that. It's good good to find it in other places. Okay. Yes. Wake up there, buddy. Wake up, wake up. We're going to roll under your damage there, bud. And we are just chunking away at your health, dude. Like, how are you immortal if I'm doing that kind of damage to you? Okay, the other statue and that one. I don't know what that buffs, but those books give buffs. I'm just not sure what particular buff that book gives. Oh, there you are, buddy. I thought you were down here somewhere. I just didn't see him when we came through the first time. All right, some good loot on there. Bunch of steel fire. Like to see it. Okay, on to the next door. Now, this next door also has a new surprise in it, something fun. We have a... Flashy visitor from the Isle of Sipta right there. Blood Blood Moon Beast, I believe is what it's called. So we'll kill him. He's got some good drops. Oh, you came out of nowhere. Came out of nowhere with that big hammer, bud. Okay, there we go. Nice. Mushrooms, some other stuff. Oh, and we can stagger you? That means you're never going to get off another attack, dude. See? It's all over for you now. It just stick you in this wall. Make you hate life. Wait for my stamina. Wait for my stamina. <laughs> Alright, what do we got here? We got the Disease Spike. Those are great. The Eye of the Watcher. A Fragment of Power. And some other good loot there. We're going to leave. Did you you killed him all by yourself? Did you did you knock him into the wall? She knocked him into the wall. We'll take that silver bar though. We will take it. All right. Moving on to this last guy here. Okay. He didn't want to say anything when we woke in. Did we awake you? There you go. I had to I had to touch his butt before he'd wake up there. 
you know, that wakes most things up. Just, just touch its butt and things wake up. What did it taste like? Did it taste like butt? Okay. Uh, Krom's hammer and the last statue. I thought there was a chest in here somewhere. Yeah, there it is. What do we got in here? More gray lotus stuff. That's really good. So, really good to come down here for Grey Lotus now, for sure. I wonder, while I'm thinking of it, does this guy drop anything special when you hack him up? Demon blood, putrid meat. Yeah, so pretty much just, just demon blood there. So, yeah. There's better places to get more demon blood, but if you're in here and you need some... It's a good go-to. All right, let's see if we remember the puzzle on the floor here. I believe it's these three that are close together. One, two, three. Yes, it is. Nice, we got the key. Okay. And a little book that can be read there. And that key opens this door. Okay, that guy's dead. What do we got? Ooh, some hardened brick in there. Love it. Uh, help you build your base. Okay. We're going to try to find a bunch of rusted keys in here as well. Let's see what we can do. I think if, eh, if we head in here first, should be able to go up the stairs and get a key or two. Some stone consolidant. Look at you. She's a monster, chat. She got that good weapon. Massive damage. What war paint does this guy have on him? What is that? Heirs of the North. Why? Let's just put it on, chat. Yeah. Alright. We got killer cool war paint now. Okay, you're kind of got me stuck there, Chica. All right, up the stairs we go. We'll see if there's some fragments up here or rusted keys, I mean. Okay, don't want that. Don't want that. Lots of gray lotus, chat. You guys want to get a gray lotus farm going on. A run through here will get you started, that's for sure. All right, so we have a rusted key. We also have layered fur. We're going to grab that as well. Good resources for keeping up on armors, repairs, all those different things. We're going to try to avoid most of these traps. Okay. As I say it. Oops. As I say it, I run right over one. Okay. We are going to go back over this one. Try to get up here. There we go. A little Mario Brothers in Conan Exiles. Some more of that ebony silk. We will take that composite obsidian right out of there. Now, for those of you that are going to mention in the chat that I am cherry-picking the chests, I absolutely am. I am on a solo game, so it's not going to make a difference. But if you are playing on a server, you should be kind to your neighbors. Empty the chest, throw the things you don't want out on the ground, and then move on. Because... There have been issues in the past where chests do not respawn if you don't take anything, everything out of it. So keep that in mind. If you are playing on a server, you should do that. All right, down here we go. And we're just going to let some enemies trickle into us because there are quite a few in this area. Ooh, some alchemic base. Don't mind if I do. Okay, let's go over here. We'll kill this guy. I think that might attract... Nope, didn't attract the main boss there. But we did get the guy from upstairs. So, that's a thing. I'm going to take that and that. Thank you very much. Okay. Come get some there, Bubba.
Look at that full combo coming out. Good job, good job. I think all of those actually hit my thrall too. Ooh, ooh, did you see him spin on me, chat? He was halfway through that combo, was like, I'm gonna hit the person behind me that's not expecting it. Okay. Here comes another... Well, I guess I guess it's not a full combo. Now, these guys cannot be staggered, so they're not going to be interrupted like everything else, but... Okay, we need that key, and we also want this world breaker chat so the world breaker 68 and 67 that is what this berserker is actually carrying is the world breaker with the master weapon fitting on it bringing it up to 73 and 79 and as you can see she's an absolute monster with that thing so that's what she's been running for a little while. I've been testing with that, and I think it's really good. All right, let's go upstairs, see if we can find some more rusty keys while we avoid traps. Hey there, Bubba. I didn't want to leave you out. Okay, good deal. And we will take that and that. We'll leave the steel fire. And another key. I don't want to melt any gold, so we'll leave it. And I think... I think that's it. I think we've been everywhere now. I can't remember. Is there a way up over here? Let's go have a peek. I think there might be, actually. Is there a... Yeah, there is. Okay, so pressure plate. Boom. A little bit more Mario Brothers. Okay. Ooh, we actually have scraps in there. We'll grab that. And we'll grab that and that. Moss green dye. It's almost the right color. Okay, and then we're just going to jump up against this edge and come down. All right, now you can use the key that I just got for this door right here. Or you can sneak through this gap. I usually go through the gap, honestly, because there's so many traps next to this door. Like, that whole area is traps. So you can sneak around them like that, but still easier to just go around. And if you want to skip the Arena Champion entirely, using that little gap is the best way to do it. Let's head over here, see if there's been any changes to this side before we fight the arena champion. We're going to get the recipes there for the champion armor. And then we should be far enough back here that we don't get any aggro from the champion. All right. And then there's usually a chest tucked right here. There is some good stuff in there. Okay. Now, we fight the arena champion. Here we go. And you got to watch out because she is going to combo hard when she combos. Okay, so if you're in here with the thrall, just try to keep the pressure for the stagger. Since she doesn't have a way to get out of the stagger now, there we go. She never even got a combo off, never got an attack going and Thrall made it through with full health. So just keep after your attacks. And if you need to take a break, try to take a break when your Thrall is going to attack. Okay. So for those of you that don't know, I'm going to give you guys a little lesson here. Bam, there's black ice in here. So quite a bit of black ice. If you don't want to run all the way north, you can come right in here and get this black ice really easy to get to a lot of this stuff if you've got the keys you can run past a lot of the stuff in this dungeon in fact i can show you guys a guide to getting all the way through this dungeon without attacking anything and getting to the final chests for the legendaries i know that's going to be a thing 
coming up with the new update where people are going to want to know how do I get legendaries easy, which one of the dungeons is the best to go in, and in my opinion, it is this dungeon, and I can show you guys exactly how to go about getting all the chests in this dungeon without actually having to partake in the content of this dungeon. So let me know in the comment section below if that's something that you want to see in the future. And of course, if you do want to see it and you're not subscribed already, make sure you hit that subscribe button, ring that bell so you don't miss out when I upload that video. Tons of you guys are subscribing, so join your fellow exiles in joining up on the channel. All right, we'll clear out the rest of these spiders. Wow, that undead dragon made short work of those guys. Okay, he didn't heal all the way, though. And if you've never seen an undead dragon bleed, here you go. You're going to see that undead dragon bleed. And it's just going to melt him. Between my thrall adding the sunder, the damage that she's doing, the damage that I'm doing, and the bleed. It's just going to end him real quick. There we go. So we have a key that he drops as well. We'll take the rest of this good stuff out of there. And then there's actually still a skeleton key chest here, which is going to get us a Beck to Corbin. We'll go ahead and take that. So keep in mind that there's a skeleton key chest in here with this guy, and you might want that. I'm always curious, too. Does this guy drop... The piece that you need for the end content no but he does drop demon blood and dragon horns dragon bone so if you're looking for a good place to get some of that boom this dungeon okay we are coming up towards the end here just have a little bit of stuff to to waste let's see what's in here a couple of mammoths whole bunch of chests back there let's get these mammoths taken care of no, I don't want to be hit. Oh, 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 she murdered him. She dropped him. Like, she hit him with the fly swatter, and he just went down. What? Oh, my gosh. She's a monster. All right. So, what do we have in here? Gold and silver. That's actually treasure right there. Our ghostly embracer. So, we'll take that stuff. Well, we're going to take the star metal and the hardened leather. Nothing out of there. We will take all of that. Don't mind if I do. We'll take all of that. Take all of that. And we'll take that. Now, for those of you that are wondering why am I leaving the Grandmaster uh, armor and weapon repair kits, honestly, because I just don't see a point in picking them up anymore. Uh, the legendaries, I'm just going to throw in the dismantler once they're too low of... Uh, durability to use them and any of my weapons that I craft anything that I craft personally I'm gonna repair that on the bench so that I can get all of the durability back on that item so I don't use any repair kits anymore so this is new you guys have probably seen this before where this guy was just standing behind the wall. Well, you can open this wall up and fight him now. So that's pretty cool. It's a little early on my roll there. A little late on my roll there. Wow, you got some hit points there, bud. 8,265. Watch her hit him. Watch her. Watch this. 200 200 a couple more 200s oh and he's done he's done what has he got let's see hardened steel bow and we'll take that stuff do we get a key from him we did a key ice feral flesh and demon blood okay good to know so i came in here with uh let's see one two three four five six keys I used one and picked up two so far. So, yeah. Let's look at what's back here. 
We'll take that composite obsidian. We'll take that stuff and move on. All right. Last chance for black ice. Going to be right in here. And into the final room. Here we go. Let's go defeat the champion. The War Maker's champion. He doesn't have a whole lot of health. He grew right when I walked in, too. That's interesting. No, he does have a whole lot of health. 20, 23,000. Stop moving. 24,500 health. He's got a lot of health. Hey, uh... It was a little weird. I got... Got the damage and then got the knockdown. It's kind of fun. Okay, he's gonna do a lot of swings. Watch out. Watch out for his lot of swings. Thralls never watch out. They just take damage to the face. Alright. Getting you there. Oh, now he's growing. He's shrunk and now he's growing again. Alright. This is like a episode of Alice in Wonderland right here. He's taking the wrong potions. Don't sip that tea. It's a bad idea. You'll shrink and then grow again. Gives you nasty stretch marks. All right, 13,000. We're getting there. He's such a good air fighter, chat. We're going to go back around here. Oh, here he goes, drinking more potions to get bigger. I think this is like... You know how there's a potion of endowment uh, in the game? I think he's, like, addicted to them and getting some adverse side effects from using them. You know, it says don't don't let your horse drink it or don't feed it to your horse or whatever in the tooltips. I think that's just because this guy's hoarding them all. Heavy addiction to the grow juice. He keeps doing a funky moonwalk thing too, chat. Not sure I like it. Did he hit me or miss me there? I can't tell. Looks like he must have actually, that kick must have connected. Come back here. I want to stab you one more time. Oh, I guess he had more hit points than I thought. I thought he was like one hit. There we go. Now he's done. All right. And we got the destroyer. That's cool. We'll take those armor scraps. Tons of armor scraps, chat. We're going to put those there. And then, let's see. I got all turned around. Okay, that's the door out. That's the door in. So we want to go to these, these doors that have kind of the circular shape at the bottom. And we'll see what we get for scraps. You know, some other stuff in there. I think you'll find it's a lot easier to get the scraps that you need to make the armor from this dungeon. Because they've just ramped up the number of scraps that the champion and the uh, arena champion. Is it the arena champion and the war makers champion? Is that the names of them? I'm having a hard time remembering. I think that's what it is, chat. You guys let me know if I'm lost in the head in the comment section below, but I'm pretty sure it is the arena champion and the war makers champion. Both of those drop just a bunch of scraps. All right. So they are definitely worth fighting and killing for their scraps. I'm not sure, now that I'm going in here and picking these up, I'm not sure that it's worth the time picking up those rusty keys to come in here and get one scrap out of each one of these chests. See how many we get out of this one. Okay. 
another one scrap. All right. Well, there we go. And I don't think we have any other rusted keys, right? We used all four of the keys. We did. All right. Good deal. Now we will grab these recipes. Okay. So that one and this one. And as you can see, there's chests on both sides. So we have three chests here and three chests here. So we've got one, two legendaries already. This is going to be three, four. Oh, pushing the wrong buttons here. And I crashed. All right, so I had the odd crash, which is weird, but those two chests we looked in, so we'll open this one. There's a three. And then we'll go on the other side here. And there's four, five, and six. So there are seven locations in this dungeon that have legendary chests. Six of them are right here at the end, and the other location is in with the undead dragon. So plenty of places for you to get legendaries out of this particular dungeon and i think this may be the dungeon with the most ability to get legendaries a lot of legendaries in this dungeon if you want to take it on now before you leave the video i have one more thing that you have to see before you go because i see so many people pass it up we're going to tell our thrall to stop we're going to tell him to stop right there. And we're going to come back here. And there's more loot back here. So you definitely want to come back and grab all this loot. You don't want to just leave it here for someone else. So it's right before you drop over the edge. This is the edge you can't get up. You can't get over here. So before you drop over this edge, you want to go right back here and get those chests all right okay continuing out the dungeon pretty much just gonna run out even if things have respawned at this point in time it really doesn't matter you don't need to interact with that this is one of the dungeons that if you take your time through it you can continuously run this dungeon you can see that things at the beginning of this dungeon have respawned so if you wanted to you could just start this dungeon all over I am cloaked at this point in time, so nothing's attacking me. That's why I'm just running out. But this stuff will try to attack you on the way out. So if you want to kill it on your way out, you can by all means do that. But that is the end of the dungeon. Don't forget to whack the like button on your way out. And let me know in the comment section below what do you think of the changes to this dungeon. I'd like to thank all my YouTube members for your continued support. Y'all are absolute legends. If you'd like to become a legend, there's a button that says join on this page. Click that for details. There's two videos on the screen. Click one of those to watch next and I'll meet you over there.